Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TCG World 2017. Now today we are going to be using Evil Tall Mew, um, one of the big archetypes that I was missing from covering from the standard format. Um, yeah, let's review the deck list really quickly, shall we? Um, Fright Night Eveltal is the main focus of the deck. Um, there's so many, there's so many EX Pokemon getting played, and so many tool cards such as Floatstone and the Spirit Links. That not only is the ability of Fright Night really, really good in order to prevent your opponent from reaping the benefits of using such tool cards. Pitch Black Spear is a pretty good cost-effective attack and especially with Shaman EX being played all over pretty much um, a single evil tile might get you four, up to 4 prizes um, especially because decks are running very low counts of things like Switch or Escape Rope or even Olympia and Fright Knight can essentially make it so that your opponent is not able to retreat so things like Hoopa EX, Jirachi I'm not Jirachi, I'm Shaman EX, it's because I've been playing a bit of Expanded. <laughs> um, yeah, those are very easy targets and very and very easy threats for Eveltal to take down. And they're not easy threats, they are Pokemon that, that are easily threatened, that's what I mean. So that's the main idea behind the Fright Knight Eveltal. Then we have a single Eveltal with Oblivion Wing, which can actually um, power up your other Pokemon. We have two Eveltal EX to combine with a Fright Knight Eveltal um, after you've damaged your opponent's Pokemon EX. Or even if something is preparing to give you a lot of trouble with a ton of energy such as a Mega Mewtwo or things like that, um, you can Evil Ball for a ton of damage, you can Y Cyclone to conserve your energy. Um, Eveltal EX is a really, really good attacker. Then we have Mew. Um, Mew Psychic Typing is really valuable right now because of the fact that Mega Mewtwo is highly played at the moment, probably one of the top decks in the format. So being able to copy any attack with Memories of Dawn is really, really cool. And especially if you're able to pull off uh, Memories of Dawn for an end game attack and actually able to KO a Mega Mewtwo, um, that's really, really impressive because you get four prizes off of your efforts. So between Eveltal with Fright Knight and Mew uh, copying Endgame or even Umbreon using Endgame, you can definitely really surprise your opponent and punish all the Mega Pokemon players. We also have two Ninja Boy which allows us to shuffle between the attackers we actually need at the right time in the right moment. So really good strategy and I'm really glad that PTCGO now has the Ninja Boy available. And then, uh, besides from that, we have 4 Sycamore, 3 N, 2 Lysander, 1 Ranger, pretty standard. Um, we have 4 Verseekers, 4 Ultra Balls, and 4 Trainers Mail, along with 4 Max Elixir, which allow us to power up our Pokemon a bit faster than normal. Um, besides that, we have a single Super Rod, a single Escape Rope, 2 Parallel Cities to punish opponents to have a better Ra Mega Rayquaza matchup, and then we have 3 Fighting Fury Belt. Um, these do not, unfortunately, help Fright Knight Eveltal, but they do help Eveltal EX, the other Eveltal, Umbreon, and Mew, and even Shaman in some weird spots. For example, if you're up against a mirror, well not against a mirror, but if you're up against something that does damage to the bench, um, you can maybe prevent Shaman from getting KO'd. If Fright Knight Eveltal becomes really really popular, you can definitely consider using uh, Mr. Mime as a tech in decks, if you feel like this deck is a really big threat in your local metagame. And finally we have a very healthy 10 basic darkness energy count and 4 double colorless energy to power up our attackers. So having said all that, let's go into, wait I don't want to play expanded, let's go into the standard format and try to, um, try to win some games. Now I'll be honest, I did play around with the deck a little bit beforehand and I got terrible draws and I think I went 0-1-5. Um, I went 0-1-5 with the deck <laughs> before the video but I generally believe that I had really 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 bad luck and that's why it happened. Um, I had really bad hands such as this one, I've never started Umbreon. 
But anyways, that's okay, I guess. We have Ninja Boy. We are up against a Lightning type deck, so we are at a pretty big disadvantage right there. Every attacker besides Umbrian and Mew is weak to Lightning, so that's definitely not good news. Uh, we did see Colorless as well. But I wonder if this is some sort of Magnezone Pikachu EX deck, Magnezone Ra Raikou, I was going to say Raichu, but no, Magnezone Raikou could be Raichu as well, you never know. Um, definitely a possibility there. Okay. And my opponent does start off with a Shaman, so I'm going to attach an energy to the Umbrian. I feel like playing Parallel City might be good, but not yet. And I'm just gonna end. I'm hoping to hit a few more basic Pokemon. We do get the Fright Knight Veltal, but we also don't get pretty much anything else. Um, and with three energy in our hand and one in play, I feel like odds of us hitting a, a Max Elixir are not going to be very good at all. Still gonna go for Shaman. One Shaman is priced, the regular Reveltal is priced, both Mews are there. Um, one Max Elixir is priced, and then we have one Sycamore priced, one Fighting Fury Belt priced, and one, two, three, four, and one Energy priced. So those are our prizes. Um, maybe a Super Rod, I didn't notice if it was in there. But let's Shaman for four cards here. I'm hoping to hit max elixirs, but no extra energy. We actually hit a Mew, which is not terrible, and I guess we just pass for now. Um, I'll probably want to use the Super Rod to put back the energy because of the max elixirs. Um, my opponent does play a town map, so yep, it is a Magneton deck. Magneton, rather. Um, energy pouch. Okay. Uh, but it does go for a second shaman, so that's two potential two potential targets for Fright Knight Veltal. Um touches an ener a lightning and a fighting fury belt, so she's maybe expecting the Fright Knight Veltal. Unfortunately here we don't have a good follow-up. And get another energy. I generally don't know if I should end my opponent because it looks like he didn't get too much. Um, looks like he really didn't get too much at all. And Okay. No. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use Veal of Darkness and I'm going to discard an extra Darkness Energy, because I will be able to put 3 back. And I'm going to get rid of the Ultra Ball, to draw an extra 2 cards. But basically I just don't want... Okay, <laughs> I draw 2 Supporters. I didn't want to use Zen. If my, opponent, if my opponent simply attaches here and brings Shaman... Okay, no, that's not what is going to happen. Um, he actually goes for a Pikachu EX. So, over Spark doesn't really threaten me right now. He goes for Iron Tail, which deals 30 damage times the number of heads. Okay, this is kind of an issue where I still don't want to use the end. But if I retreat an attack and he gets two... No, he needs three heads. So the odds of him getting three heads are very low, I would imagine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna retreat into the Veltal. Um, his Fighting Fury Belt no longer works. And there's the victory, okay. So, not gonna complain about that. Too, it's too bad that my opponent didn't get a, a good hand. Seemed to be using a, an interesting deck. Seemed to be using an interesting deck, but unfortunately, he got stuck with a terrible hand. And apparently he was favored against me, I think. Or might have been my previous opponent. Not entirely sure. Okay. Now, looks like we're up against a Darkrai Carpador Giratina deck. Should be really interesting to see. 
I definitely want to go first and it's been quite funny these last few days because a lot of people are complaining about the switch of, of the yes and no button so as you can see in the Regi's Glacian video from Monday um, I definitely benefited from that myself okay my opponent does mulligan so we are going to get a mulligan off of an extra card off of my opponent's mulligan which is nice um, and we are going first as well we still have no information on the Pokemon he's playing besides what we saw in the in the previous stream he's also using a colorless deck box to give even less indication of what kind of Pokemon or what kind of deck he is actually using but we do see Giratina we do see High Dragon High Dragon so yeah okay here I am very tempted see if he's a quick Giratina EX I feel like going for the Veltal is a lot better simply because of the fact that um, Giratina requires a lot of energy and he's gonna block not only my tool cards but my special energy as well and there's no guarantee we would have found the Fright Night Veltal there's no guarantee that even with the Fighting Fury belt Mew goes down to Giratina's attacks and yeah I'm just gonna pass here um, it's too bad we didn't get we don't seem to be hitting the max elixir early on and I say this simply because of the testing games I did myself okay hopefully he ends us but he doesn't um, I don't know ever since N was printed I feel like an N to 6 ends up hurting me more than an N to 2 or 3 or even 1 simply because my deck right now is still really full of utility cards and draw cards and energy and Pokemon and everything okay I've barely played any cards down so even though I'm drawing more cards than a late game N um, I get less um, or I have less odds maybe of hitting a useful card because my deck is so thick for now and yeah there's the end so hopefully we don't run into that problem Okay, so we're gonna end my opponent back. And he's gonna get hit the Mew for 40 damage. It's perfectly fine by me. Um, we don't, definitely don't have a return KO on his Evelto. Definitely don't have a return KO on his Evelto. But we do have a 2 hit KO. He does go for Shaman. Um, filling up his bench with a ton of of easier-ish targets for Shaman, I mean for Fright Night Evelto does attach a Fine Fury Belt to Giratina which will make it harder to KO but not unreasonably hard I mean it was almost always going to be a 2-hit KO anyways we were very unlikely going to find 4 energy and wow I believe I didn't yeah, I have the audio on mute. I was like, why is this so quiet? Okay. There there we go. There we go. That's a bit nicer. Um, yeah, like this. This is a perfect volume, I think. The perfect balance between volume and whatnot. Okay. There's another Tarkrai. So, he gets his first Max Elixir off. Which is obviously nice for him. Not very nice for us. Um, they show with this Evelto, and we could do some fancy plays where, how much damage are we dealing? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, so no, we would need to hit a max elixir. Okay, so, I'm just gonna attach to the Evelto EX, I kind of want to play a Fighting Fear Belt on the Mew, but I also kind of don't want to. Um, I feel like Mew is definitely not going to be useful in this matchup just like Umbrian and okay we do hit a max elixir but we literally don't have any other Pokemon so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to retreat because my brain shouldn't have anything to hit the bench right 
I do hit the max elixir so Mew potentially can get a KO somewhere down the line and Evil Ball should be pretty safe here. Um, next turn we can um, Y Cyclone in order to preserve energy and things like that. Hopefully we find a different basic Pokemon as well. But we should be good here. We should be good. Okay. Double Dragon goes on to Giratina. Fighting Fury Belt goes on to Darkrai. All of these plays make sense. But we have yet to play a stadium card, so even though he does have two High Dragon EX available to him. Wow, and he didn't play anything. But I can't sick him on away two special energy cards. I simply can't. Especially because I don't play special charge. Get another Max Elixir. It would be really nice to have more basic Pokemon at this point in time. But unfortunately I do have to end. I do hit the Veltal though. Which is awesome. I do hit the Iveltal, which is awesome. Okay, avenge the Iveltal. Let's trainer's mail here. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna keep the Sycamore because I have no draw otherwise. And I'm gonna attach here. I'm going to attach the Fine Fury Belt to the Mew. And it sucks. That we are going to. I mean, there's no reason not to KO Veltal right here, obviously. But I kind of wish I wasn't KOing him. Um, I'm gonna move the DC to the to the Fright Knight Veltal, and yeah, my opponent has four energy in play, so that's a hundred damage, hundred and ten. So he only needs one more for Dark Pulse to one hit KO my Fright Knight Yvelto, which is obviously not good news. Um, there's a Skyfield, wow. So that's an interesting version of Dark Knight Giratina, and not one you would normally expect. So the Psychic Typing is probably not Carbodor, it's simply the one Hoopa he probably plays. Huh. Yeah. Basically, KOing a single Pokemon such as Veltal in this matchup is not useful at all because of the fact that my opponent, as long as he doesn't bench any other non-EX Pokemon, I still have to KO three EX Pokemon. So the good thing is he cannot one hit KO Veltal EX, and he doesn't seem to have much else going on. Oh boy. Okay. Escape rope. Escape rope is not terrible. Um, I'm gonna sacrifice the Mew. I'm sacrifice the Mew. He used the escape rope simply to draw an extra card. But, huh? If, 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 if. Yeah, two shamans, which kinda could mean four prizes. Kind of could mean four prizes. Okay, there's another Max Elixir. Does he hit? He does. So that's a second Dark Ray X. There's another Giratina X. And yeah, no matter what I do, well, if I play down my Parallel CD and limit his bench, he would have to discard both Shamans. Wow, he's really spreading out his energy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now he's dealing 190 damage, so nothing survives a hit here. Absolutely nothing survives a hit. And now I'm really scared. Now I am genuinely, genuinely scared. Okay, I feel like my best play is to try and two, four, yeah, 110. That's nowhere near enough. Okay. I'm gonna first use Shaman to draw three cards. Uh, I really wanted a stadium here. Okay. So I have to Sycamore. I couldn't not Sycamore at this point in time. Did get rid of two energy, which really, really sucks. Um, hopefully, my Max Elixir hits. It does. That's good news. There's the Veltal EX. Um, 
be darkness in the discard pile. Now my opponent can one hit KO absolutely anything he wishes to KO. Which is obviously an issue. I'm gonna bench the Mew. I'm gonna bench the Eveltal as well. I do have the follow-up Eveltal EX attack. And that Eveltal EX might survive. But I will need a DCE to guarantee the KO. I mean, not are I should get it. And maybe after. Well. Huh. Man, my opponent got a ton of energy in play really, really quickly. Okay, my opponent will end us both, which I'm not gonna complain. That gives me an extra two cards, but we're in a very difficult situation here. Okay. Okay. Once we KO, we can KO now the Dark Cry X. And with the Fighting Fury Belt and the DT, I feel like. I generally feel like we should be able. Oh, 210 damage. Well, it depends. Okay, what we really need is to end my opponent. That's what we need, because in order for him to get the back-to-back -back KO on our next Evolta EX, is to actually... Um okay, we need a Verse Seeker right here, right now. Okay, great. Well, maybe, no. Yeah, I need a Verse Seeker, definitely need a Verse Seeker. Okay, we have the KO back. We get rid of two energy and therefore he's going to need either a max elixir hit plus a double dragon energy in order to one hit KO us back or um, or he will not be able to. So I do know I have N here. There it is. I still have like what three max elixirs in my deck. So I don't want to discard that energy at all. I do find a max elixir. And okay, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna retreat into Eveltal. Then I'm going to max elixir, which I miss. Okay. And then I mean, I just have to evil ball. I cannot white cyclone. That would be ten short of the KO. That would have been really, really bad. I do get two prizes: a Lysander, which is nice, and a Sycamore. But if I had the Stadium, basically he would discard everything besides the Pokemon that do have energy. So he would be rid of the High Dragons, and then I could Lysander up the other Giratina EX, um, prevent any Float Stones from working, things like that. And now, I am down to 3 prizes, and basically, if I survive this turn with enough HP, I might, I might be able to, yeah, I'm not gonna survive with enough HP, I don't think. Okay, my opponent does find a third Shaman, so finding the Max Elixir and the Double Dragon Energy, or the Fighting Fury Belt, and another Double Dragon Energy, is definitely not out of the question here. Definitely not out of the question. But another thing I could do is Lysander up the Veltal. I could Lysander up the Veltal, even though it's gonna take three hits to KO though. And that's enough turns for him to retreat. He has six cards in his hand, nine cards left in his deck. Um, the Fighting Fury Belt and Giratini X. Okay, unless he plays three Fighting Fury Belts, and wow, he has Karen. Okay, he Lysanders, the Shaman. Yikes. Yep, that will do it. <laughs> uh, that's game. That is most definitely game. I mean, that is most definitely game. That shame in liability, man. 
That shaman liability. Yeah. Like, the only way I could maybe survive is if he doesn't have any energy. But he has three basic in the discard and three in play. And you would expect that deck to play at least ten. Or another double dragon energy. So... I guess right now my only, 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 only option is to do the Lysander play onto this Iveltal and hope he whiffs. That's the only way I can maybe do something. It's unfortunate, 130 HP, that's really terrible. It's really, really terrible. Okay gonna pitch black spear and target a shaman I need three turns I need three turns and that's not enough that is not enough floatstone doesn't work but you can simply attach and attack and then he retreat he attaches once again and retreats and he wins that way and even an end will not hurt him too much I've only played one verse seeker, that's really annoying. If only I had verse seeker, I could end him down to one. Or Ugh Lysander. Now he does it. Okay. Well, he's limiting my bench, not his. So it doesn't really matter. Um I'm just gonna get rid of this Evolt all, doesn't really make a difference. Maybe he's going to... Wait, what? Oh, okay, yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense, yeah. He, because he had a Pokemon. And now I can't play my Parallel TD, so... <laughs> it's a combination of so many things that are going wrong for us. So many things that are going absolutely wrong for us. It's just ridiculous. Generally ridiculous. If we had found the stadium first, if we had, um, if we had found the stadium first, if we had, well, huh, okay, it's gonna oblivion wing for thirty damage. I'm sure he still has Lysanders left. Yeah, he's used two Lysander and only two Verseekers. <laughs> <laughs> ah, one card away. One freaking card away. Why? There's nothing we can do. He obviously has energy. And even if he doesn't... <sighs> because he has free treated with his Giratinas. He has everything. He has everything going for him, so I'm just gonna concede. There's no way we win here. <sighs> we would have had the stadium earlier. We could have gotten rid of his Pokemon first and limit his bench, and therefore the Lysander play would have been a lot more viable. Um, <sighs> we could have maybe used N to limit his to limit his hand and he would have needed only one energy yes but out of two cards but no 18 cards left and we could not hit a single stadium or a verse seeker and we had an okay start as well we had an okay start but he had a fantastic start that was the difference okay now we're up against a grass deck. I wonder what kind of deck this is. Probably not Vileplume. Probably Mega Sceptile, Aredos, or simply Aredos Sceptile. No, it's actually Yan Mega. Okay. So Yan Mega is annoying because it doesn't have any. or it won't be running to any energy, and therefore. Therefore, okay, 100 and then, uh, yeah, that's a KO, okay, 
can attach an energy there. I guess I'll play the trainer's mail. A ninja boy and a parallel CD. There's really well, I'm gonna keep the ninja boy. And I am going to Ultra Ball. The Darkness and the Ninja Boy. I'm gonna find the other Evelta EX because I don't think Fright Knight is going to be too useful here. And my opponent could definitely find. Well, I mean, I guess it is useful. My opponent is definitely going to use Shaman. And if it's Yan Mega Break Vespiquin, then he's going to have a high Shaman count as well. So odds are he will play down at least one. At least. Okay, no max elixirs for us. Last game we only played one. And this game we're not drawing any just yet. There's one, thank you. And I guess I'll play the trainer's mail first, the other trainer's mail. For a fighting fury belt. Now the issue is Yan Mega does more damage if I have a tool card attached. And if I don't have a tool card attached, well, it's still a 2 hit KO, anyways, on Tui Veltal, right? On Tui Veltal EX. So I might as well deal that extra 10 damage, just in case. And make my deck one card thinner in order to ensure, well, not to ensure, in order to give Max Elixir the best odds of hitting. Okay. So this is all I'm gonna do for now. Mew might get KO'd, but that's not really a big problem. And having another DC in my hand is really good because we can start dealing a ton of damage to the Omega Breaks. Um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. Okay. Well, <laughs> that works. Um, my opponent immediately has the Omega Break. So maybe I should have attached to the Fright Knight Evelto. Actually, that would have been better. Now that, I'm, now that I am thinking about it, that definitely would have been better. And maybe it just outright, outright sycamores. Okay. <laughs> he has to play down his hand to four cards. He has six. If he doesn't, I would be really surprised. I would generally, generally, generally be really surprised. Um... Okay, the good part about this is that Bursty Maloon plus Yan Mega's regular second attack doesn't KO me. But if I retreat into Fright Knight, I KO myself. And, oh, I was gonna say, that was a misplay. I was about to say, that was a big misplay. The issue is the Bursty Maloon. That Bursty Maloon is really annoying. Really, really annoying. Um... Yeah, Evelto EX can't. Yeah, Evelto EX definitely can't not KO, I guess. Okay, there's an energy. I'm sure, he has one more card to play down. Or maybe he played that down. Yeah, there's a bursting balloon. Okay. But I'm glad to see that bursting balloon come into play. I am generally glad to see that. No Vespiquin. And no indic oh there never mind. <laughs> there are two Vespigon in the discard pile. Okay. So he chooses to sacrifice this Yan Mega. Because I can KO this Yan Mega. Two, four, six, eight. Okay. I can KO this Yan Mega. If if Huh. Okay. Because I'll attach the DC there, and I'm gonna end. So I'm not gonna KO Yan Mega, basically. <laughs> I'm not gonna KO Yan Mega. And then I am going to max elixir here. I do hit once again. Thank you very much. So I'll attach there. And now, what is my best play here? I can't take a KO and deal 100 damage or 2, 
four, six, eight, ninety damage. Or I could pass. No, passing is not an option. But I'm still gonna get to it KO'd anyways. But why Cyclone for a hundred damage? I feel like that's the right play. And then I'm going to move the DCE. Yeah. No, yes. No, I'm gonna move the darkness onto this Fright Night Evolved doll. I have a single darkness energy in my discard pile. I mean, I am forced to find another darkness energy next turn. Evan does find a combi. Two bursting balloon in the discard, that's great. Yeah. There's the Vespiquen. There's a Yanma. Now finding a stadium right here would be ideal. That would be the ideal best case scenario. On my upcoming turn. That would be best, absolute best case scenario. Might end up losing the super up though. Might end up losing the super rod. Yeah, the price trade off here is really bad. And when and if, or rather if and eventually when my opponent does get enough Pokemon in the discard pile to power up Vespiquen, we are going to be in a lot of trouble. Because our, our Eveltals cannot really trade well against Vespiquen. Okay, so there's the four cards, now he's free to attack for no energy, but he's 10 short of the KO. He is 10 short of the KO. But then again, my Veltal EX didn't get two prize cards. Okay, he decides to retreat, which is interesting. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, 180 damage. I retreat myself into Fright Night, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. And, I mean, Super Odd, yeah, because I have to Sycamore here. I have to. And, like I said, I still get to it KO'd anyways, but I might as well. And I'm just gonna Sycamore here. Well, I could have retreated and then used N. That was an option. Um, I'll play the trainer's mail here. I do hit once again. Basically, if I retreat and give him the two prize cards, what's the worst that can happen here? I mean, well, I actually have to do something like that. Because of the fact that I did not get a darkness energy. <laughs> or. No, because I can play around with the other Evil Polyx. Okay, so I'm gonna escape rope here. See what he brings up. Probably this Yan Mega, you would imagine. Definitely not the best Pequin. Maybe this Yan Mega break as well. Maybe. No, he brings up Shaman. Wow. Okay, I will take that. I will gladly take that KO right here. I will gladly take that. Two free prizes. Wow. Okay. That seems more than fair. Absolutely more than fair. Wow, and immediately promotes the other Shaman. Mm, I mean, unless he has an escape rope. 
or unless he wants to prevent that from happening once again why would you promote shaman immediately when you literally have four other pokemon that retreat for free that was a really weird choice um and with only five pokemon in the discard pile vespiquen is not a threat and he even uses revitalizer so sure, he poisons my Veltoli X. It's still a 2-hit KO, right? It's still a 2-hit KO. And that, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So he really wants to prevent an easy prize card for my attackers. Um, that makes Fright Knight Veltal that much worse. Definitely makes Fright Night Evolved all that much worse. Um, Ninja Boy. What can Ninja Boy accomplish here? Nothing too important, really. And I don't have a Lysander in my discard pile because I could use that to target the Vespiquen. Bursting Maloon, so he's gonna promote this and make a break. Wow, three and make a break, so okay. Okay. If I attack right here, no matter what attacker I use, I KO myself. Um. Wow. That super art might end up costing me. Discarding the super art might end up costing me because I feel like Eveltal X is the only viable attacker we have right now. The only viable attacker we have. Let me check. Three verse seekers. And we have yet to see an N, a judge, or anything like remotely close to that. Okay. Can I use an Ultra Ball? Discard the Ranger and the other Fright Mighty Velto. Yeah, Umbrian EX is not useful. This Velto EX is not too useful either. Not at this point in time. Um, I guess I'll grab a new. Yeah, and simply dealing. 60 damage and no and nothing else it's not gonna take us anywhere it's just not gonna take us anywhere and both of my veltals are pretty much done for they are pretty much done for if i attack i'll be at 110 damage so then a single attack by a mega break would punish us um we cannot give him like a ton more cards we can end. That's the only thing we can do. Okay, I'm gonna touch there. And I guess I have to end. But in the long run, I don't see how we win this match. I generally don't see how we win this. The price trade off is not good here for us. It's just not good. And without Super Art, like if I had Super Art, I could Super Art back the both Evelto the X and the Ninja Boys, the Fright Knights into Evelto the X's. That might have worked. What I can do is Y Cyclone to conserve my energy and move it to Mew. And then maybe Mew can copy Evil Ball and be a bit more cost effective. I mean, that's the only thing I can come up with at this point in time. The generally the only thing I can come up with. Another Yanma, Yan Mega, that's the, there's the four cards. And yeah, all he needs to do, well, maybe a late game N. Yeah, and he can simply retreat. Maybe a late game N down to a very small amount of cards can maybe save us um, anytime I promote Fright Night Veltal my Veltal X will get immediately KO'd so 
seeing my hand I'm gonna have to ninja boy away this volatile into the mew there's the energy and then I mean number in the X sure it has a lot of HP it can to it KO and make a break I guess it has go that going for it um, gonna bench this Evelto gonna retreat Mew into this Mew and I'm going to Y Cyclone yeah Y Cyclone and transfer the darkness onto Mew No, onto this Evolto. But yeah, I'm attacking and I'm not getting any price cards. And I'm also not getting... Um, I'm also not getting any supporter cards. Oh, I really need another Verse Seeker. I really need another... Yeah. Okay, yeah, Judge. I will take that. I will definitely take that. Hopefully we find a way to end my opponent. Uh, nope, it's just not gonna happen today. Okay, and I if I play the stadium and I limit his damage output, will that help me? Probably not. I still can't get any KOs. Okay, can we find a verse seeker here? We can. But now I have no way to attack. Unless, okay, if I parallel CD, I could get rid of the Evelto EX, and then what? No, I, I can't even do that. Okay, I'm gonna parallel CD, and I'm going to reduce his damage output, um, and then I'm going to... And I guess I attach the Fighting Fury belt here. And then I end. And hope my opponent doesn't have a way to go down to four cards. But then after that, Vespiquen simply takes the Gale and Mew. Or actually doesn't. It actually doesn't take the Gale and Mew. So maybe I have a chance here. Maybe. Really, really big maybe. Okay, I'm gonna Y Cyclone here and transfer the darkness into this Evolta. Man, everything or most everything on this board is damaged. Okay, three cards in his hand. Can he get a fourth card? And if he can't. gonna be safe for now but we are out of energy we don't have energy we do not have energy and basically if it doesn't play anything the next turn he has next turn he has okay huh how many DCEs three verse seekers only two DCEs yikes yeah so I can't Lysander style the area those And wow, okay, decides to promote Vespiquen. Probably going to use intelligence gathering, I would assume, for zero damage. But he has only three Pokemon. Yeah, he's gonna use intelligence gathering, which makes sense. Definitely his best play. Definitely his best play. And now, because I have no way. Okay, I get an energy, or I get a Sycamore, but if my opponent finds his last verse Seeker, or a Lysander, which he has yet to play any, um, we lose. And he can even simply Lysander my Fright Knight if held. <laughs> and odds are he will find it. I mean, odds are he will find the, the thing. If he doesn't, 
then maybe the Lysander can be the save. I mean, not the Lysander, the last end can be the saving grace here. And some okay flips with Darkness Blade here. <laughs> maybe. Okay, there's a Yanmega. There's a Combi. There's a TCE. That's the third TCE. That's important to note. There's a Bursting Balloon. <sighs> bursting Balloon is so annoying. Okay, but looks like he doesn't have the Lysander. So, after I bring down my opponent to one card, he will need to hit either the Vespiquin or a way to draw more cards, right? Yeah. Um, he didn't get the first Seeker this time around. And... It might be off of his prices. Ugh, this is so hard. This is generally so hard. This is generally so hard. Okay, there's two Mews there. Yep. Okay. I have three turns to win this match. How do I maybe guarantee that I can win it? By making sure that even if I can't darkness blade well yeah I'm just gonna attach there I'm going to use an ultra ball to get rid of the sycamore and the parallel CD I'm not gonna find anything I have shaman and fright knight and I'm gonna end okay so my opponent goes down to one card with a verse seeker presumably Lysanders wow that's right he hasn't played Lysander, so he can't find, like, the Verse Seeker doesn't, well, it helps him. Yeah, it helps him. Never mind. Verse Seeker gives him the game. And I'm just gonna Oblivion Wink here. And I guess attach the Darkness to Fright Knight, just in case. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> if he Lysander's there, he wins. Okay, there's one price card. He has one card in his hand. What is it? And he has one top deck. What is it? Ah, oh, you're kidding. Ah. <laughs> uh. That that's the game. Ah, uh, come on. Come on. Oh, please evolve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Ah, uh, the bursting balloon. The bursting balloon. Ah, uh, well, the shame. Whatever. Oh boy. Anyways, guys. Um. I don't know. <laughs> um, this deck looks pretty good on paper. But it's just coming up short. Um, yeah, Mega Break Vespiquen. Definitely a deck I need to have a second look at in this format. Um, low energy count means Mega Mewtwo might struggle. Um, low energy count means Eveltal struggles. Um, very few basic EX Pokemon means Eveltal struggles. Um, Volcanion probably runs over you, so that's something to consider. Mega Zisser doesn't one hit KO Yan Mega Breaks. Um, with Ariados, Yan Mega Break can 2 hit KO Scissor. Um, without Ariados, if it has the Spirit Link, you can still 2 hit KO the Scissor. And no Spirit Link and Garbodor in play means Yan Mega Break can only 3 hit KO Scissor. Um, Vespiquen comes in very, very late, no compressor. So, yeah, um, Evil Tell Mew, not a fan. Not a fan. Um, that's my verdict. And yeah, that's gonna be it from me, guys. Thank you so so much for watching. Really interesting games, I'd say, even though we, I think we lost both. Um, interesting games for sure. And yeah, I'll see you guys on Friday for B Drill on TCG Pokedex. And if you can leave a like on the video, um, subscribe if you haven't yet. Even if you like, don't check your subscription inbox or whatever. 
really helps out the channel. Um, every extra person helps give the channel more noticeability. And yeah, that's gonna be it for me, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you guys on Friday.